Hello children. Hello superstars. Hello geniuses. Number crunches. How are you all today? Hope you're keeping safe. Okay. How is daddy and mommy and your siblings too? Hope they're all doing well. It's good to be here again. This is Miss Faith and you're welcome to our numeracy class. Yes, we've been doing a lot of addition and subtraction lately and I found that that's all of you are doing very well. Some of you are making efforts to get better. Some are doing very well. Awesome job that all of you are doing thumbs up to all of you okay so this week we'll be learning about missing added solving for missing parts in a in an addition number sentence but before we go into today's topic i want us to do a review of some addition problems Let's do a little brain gym, a little brain exercise. Let's warm up. 1 plus 2 equals 3. Very good. 3 plus 0 equals 3. Good. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Very good. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Good. 7 plus 7 equals 14. If you remember the double numbers, you should remember 7 plus 7 is 14. 9 plus 9 equals 18. Very good. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. I just added number pairs now. Okay. 1 plus 9 equals 10. They are number pairs. If you remember your number pairs and double numbers, then adding of numbers should not be a problem anymore okay now look at this two plus dash equals six all right we are used to the normal addition of a number and another number equals another number that's what we just did now that's what we just reviewed but you can see that this number sentence looks different from the one we know it looks different from the ones we've been doing right now what is wrong with this number sentence Okay, a number is missing. Good. Now, how do we get this number that is missing? What do we do to know this number that is missing? Okay, we're going to add. Yes, but what are we adding? Oh, we should add 2 plus 6. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to this question. Now, I want us to know parts of, a, of an addition number sentence. This is an addition number sentence. 4 plus 1 equals 5. Now, let's know the parts of this number sentence. 4 is called an addend. 4 is called what? Addend. You know the plus sign 
One is also called ardent. One is also called ardent. You know the equal sign. Five is called some. Five is called some. That is the whole number. The answer we get after adding four and one together is called sum. Now four is called an addend, one is called an addend. An addend is a number which is added to another number. Any numbers that are added together are called addend. So four and one are called addends because they are numbers that are added together. So they are called addend. You can see this number sentence here. Four plus five equals nine. Four and five are addends. Any number that you're adding together are called addends. Now to a number sentence I wrote out before. 2 plus dash equals 6. 2 plus hat shape equals 6. Now what do we do? First, find your addend that you do have. What is the addend that we have? The addend we have is 2. We know one of the addends is 2. Now we want to look for the other addend that when added to 2 gives us 6. So next, we'll count up until you get to your sum. Count up until you get to your sum. What is our, what is our sum? The sum is 6. So we count up from 2 to get to 6. You count up from 2 to get to 6. So you can draw a picture to help you. Here I have the 10 frame. Okay. You can use number line. You can drop. You can draw balls. Okay. Now, here we know two, right? So we draw two here first. One, two. And then I pick another color. Now we count up to six. We count up to six. So we have two already. And we keep counting to six. When you get to six, you do what? You stop. So that's two, three, four, five, six. We counted up four numbers to get to the sum six. How many numbers did we count up to get to six? We counted four, right? So our missing addend is 4. Check to see if your answer makes sense. So how do we check to see if our answer makes sense? Now we now check 2 plus 4 equals 6. You count. There are 2 heart shapes on, on 2. 1, 2. And there are 4 heart shapes on 4. One, two, three, four. Now, what do we do to all the add shapes? We count them together. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, two plus four equals six. Our missing addend there is what? Four. Now, another way we can do this, if we don't want to use the 10 frame, we already know the sum, right? The sum is what? The sum is 6. The sum is 6. Now what do we do? We draw 6 balls. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We draw 6 balls. And then we know 2 already. 2 is our given addend. What do we do? We can color. We can color two balls. One, two. We've colored two balls. How many balls are left? How many balls are empty? How many balls are empty? 
four balls are empty. So our missing addend is what? Four. Can you see that? So you can make balls, you can use the time frame, you can use your number line. All right, let's continue. Let's solve this the number problems. We have five plus dash equals eight. Five plus dash equals eight. What is our given addend? That is what we should know first. Our given addend is what? Five. Our given addend is five. So let's count five. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. So we have five already. And then we have to count from five up to eight. We count from five up to eight. Okay? So let's count up from five to eight. We have five already and we count forward. We keep counting. When we get to eight, we stop. So let's go. That's five, six, seven, eight. How many numbers did we count up to get to eight? Three numbers. So our missing addend is three. Now you can also drop balls. And when you want to make balls, you make balls for the whole number, for the sum. What's the sum? The sum is eight. So we'll make eight balls. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what do we do to these balls? Yes, we had we are giving five as our what? As our given addend. So let's call up five balls. One, two, three, four, five. Now how many balls are not colored? Three. How many balls are empty? Three. So our missing addend is what? Three. Awesome. Let's move on. 4 plus dash equals 6. 4 plus dash equals 6. What is our given addend? Our given addend is 4. Our given addend is 4. So we'll count um, 4 balls. We'll draw 4 balls or 4 circles or make 4 dots inside the same frame so let's go one two three four now what are we going to do next are we going to add six no we are not adding six we are counting forward to six we are counting forward to six okay let's do that we have four already. We count up to six. Let's go. Five, six. When we got, when we get to six, we stop. So how many numbers did you count up to get to six? How many numbers did you count up to six? Two, two. Now for the strategy for drawing the balls or using the balls we're going to draw balls for the sum what is the sum the sum is six so we'll draw balls for the sum let's do that one two three four five six now what do we do to the balls we'll color them how many balls are we going to color we're going to color four balls let's do that one two three four good so now how many balls are left uncolored two balls how many number did we count up to six 
two numbers so our missing addend is two hope you're following good now here two plus dash equals four if you remember your double numbers very well two plus what is four hmm you don't remember or you're not sure okay let's quickly solve this so that you will remember to remind those who who have not remembered or who don't remember yet so we the given add end is two remember the given add end is two so we draw two balls one two now how do we know the missing add end are we going to add four to two okay no remember we're going to count up from two to four the numbers we count up to four is our answer when you get to four you stop so let's do that we have two and then we keep counting to four three four wow so how many numbers did we count up to four two numbers let's do the one let's uh, make balls when you want to make balls you make balls for the whole number the sum okay so let's do that one two three four now we're going to color we're going to color how many balls two balls let's do that one two now how many balls are left how many balls are empty two balls are empty so our answer here is two our missing addend is two awesome hope you're following so now you remember two plus two equals four very good let's continue now there are some times you will not have counters with you or the 10 frame or the number line you know i always encourage you to do this to start counting in your mind in your head to count with your fingers okay we're going to solve this question first one plus dash equals four one plus dash equals four now you take one one is your given addend one is your given addend we count to four we count up from one to four so you say one in my mouth okay now when you are counting when you say any number in your mouth when you start counting forward you don't repeat that number again if you repeat the number again while counting forward then you make a mistake you'll get a wrong answer so let's go one in my mouth okay let's continue two three four how many fingers did you count up to get to four three fingers okay so our missing addend is three good job so here we have dash plus seven equals nine so the missing addend can be any of the numbers both of them are called addends so it can be the number after the plus sign like um, the first number problem the, the first number sentence we solved which is one plus dash then it can also be before the plus sign like the one we are about to solve now which is dash plus seven in either case you all you need to identify your given addend first what is the given addend the given addend is seven the given addend is seven and when you have this do you add it to the number after the equal sign do you add it to the sum 
No, you don't add it to the sum. You count up to the sum. You count up to the sum. So here we have seven. So let's go. Seven in my mouth counts for what? Eight, nine. How many fingers do you have out there? Two fingers. So our answer is two. Our missing addend is two so two plus seven equals nine so you can try all this yourself but before we go let's look at this last number sentence dash plus zero equals five dash plus zero equals five okay what is our given addend here our given addend is zero our given addend is zero. Oh, I know some of you already know the answer. Hmm. Some of you already know the answer. But let's help some of our friends who don't know the answer yet. Okay? Now we are giving zero and our sum is five. Our sum is five. So we count up from zero to five when we get to five we stop so zero in my mouth one two three four five how many fingers you have out there five fingers good so our missing addend is five yes i know some of you got this so if you know you got your answer roll it for yourself roll let's go one two three four five superstars yes you're all superstars you're number crunchers i'm happy about this okay so worksheets have been sent to you via class kick and if you want to print out the worksheets you can also print them out make sure you do the worksheets on class kick and submit immediately then check back to see that your teachers have marked then for those who will print out the worksheets when you print them out and work on the worksheet snap and send to your teachers so your teachers can make the necessary correction okay so like come your way again next time be safe be good bye bye